Oh, what's this? My speakers, my computer, my work area, my messy, messy work area. I'm home. Oh my gosh, that's the last time I'm going anywhere for the holidays. That was painful. But the good news is I'm back home. So is my RTL SDR setup where I've got the good AM antennas. My FM reception sucks, but that's because of where I am. Let me move this off to the side and I can get it hooked back up. I did have some toys come in today, or at some point while I was gone. I ordered some connectors from Wi-Fi Expert at wifiexpert.us. Actually, I found him online. All your Wi-Fi and RF needs, router mod kits, manuals at wifiexpert.com. And apparently you can even create your own custom RF cables. Wanted to give a quick, uh, I'm giving him some free advertising um, if it's worth anything. So let me show you guys what I got. Um, I'm probably going to have to stabilize this after I shoot it. Um, but I ordered two additional connectors because I was uh, convinced into not cutting my pigtail. Um, I was talked into it and I didn't. So I'll show you what I got. The first up on the list is a female SMA to female F. And obviously, uh, should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I can connect. 75 ohm coax directly into my 50 ohm SMA. Uh, two reasons I two reasons I bought this. I've made a decision at one point I'm going to be converting my long wire feed into coaxial cable, and the other other reason is because I do have this thing. This is my 300 ohm to 75 ohm uh, Balin, and uh, I'll work really nice for that. Um, I can plug that directly into whatever I need. The other cable, I, the other adapter I bought is a, again, it's another female SMA, only this time it's a female MCX. And I bought that to use with the, um, I don't have the antenna on it, but this is the included whip antenna that they give you because this has a male MCX on it. And I bought it. And you can't see it because I have to do this with both hands. And I bought it so I could go ahead and adapt it to female SMA. Uh, the reason I did that is because the, the Hammond Up has a pass-through. And if you turn the power off, it's, it passes all the signal through anyway. And um, that way I can reduce the amount of stress I have to put on the MCX connector in the dongle by constantly cycling it through. So I got those from Wi-Fi Expert. Uh, Wi-Fi Expert was one of the few that actually had female SMA to female MCX. That was not an easy connector to find. In fact, when I ordered my things, as I said in, in another video, I had intended to cut my SMA pigtail to adapt it thinking I would never find that adapter. The F to whatever was a bit easier to find. Uh, so this actually changes things a little bit because I'll pull this out. I'm going to take this off because unfortunately I didn't buy this next one from him. I bought it from somebody else. Um, this came right before I left out of town for the holidays. This is my SMA to SMA coupler. And as you'll notice, I took the wire off. Um, I can't remember if I uploaded that video or not. I have a video where I show I soldered a piece of wire onto the center conductor of this. And of course, when I came home, um, I decided I didn't need that wire on there anymore. So I was able to pull this apart, heat it up, and remove enough solder that it, it now functions properly and it doesn't get jammed. Uh, these things come out relatively easily. They're just press fit, and if you push on the pin hard enough, it'll pop out on one side. So, going along with my SMA to SMA pigtail, my SMA to MCX pigtail, I've got the Balin, 
I got my one, my nine to one to nine bailing with SMA female, and I've got my two brand new adapters. I, I'm pretty much set for connecting anything up I could possibly need. Um, I think I, I think I could hook just about anything up. Um, I'm not sure how much improvement I'm gonna get running the three, the twin folded dipole into this, and then this, and directly into the unit than I did using the. The Balin. I got a video I have to upload later, or upload it already, and this will probably be done afterwards. That I'm picking, that I was picking up 100.7 out of Raleigh, North Carolina, from Lynchburg, Virginia, and I was doing it with folded twin lead dipole going through this Balin. Um, I thought that was really impressive for a while until I pulled the uh, the whip antenna out while I was sitting inside, which is a it's a 39 inch whip. And it was still picking up 107, so either my whip antenna is a little bit better than I expected, or the signal was just happening to be coming through very strongly for a few hours. So anyway, uh, that's what we got. I've got a couple of uh, brand new connectors to play around with and use with my SDR, so uh, I'm going to get to playing with this stuff. And I will obviously do some videos and let you all know how it all works. But I'm excited. I can now connect everything properly. I don't have to cut and splice and ruin any of my expensive cables. Well, I paid $8 for that one. But it's a good, decent quality cable. So anyway, uh, there we go. That's this new. Again, I'm going to give them another free plug. Wi-Fi Expert.com. Wi-Fi Expert.us. All your Wi-Fi and RF needs, and he ships quick. He's on eBay, and he probably has he has just about every kind of connector I possibly could have looked for. I might have to wind up getting some UHF connectors and some other oddball things, and I'll definitely go back to this guy because he seems to have it all. So anyway, uh, I will catch y'all later and let you know how this works, and you'll be seeing more of my RTL SDR experiments. Um, I'm getting ready to start playing with scanner bands now that I've got the ability to use my whip antenna. So anyway, have a good one. Bye-bye.